Are you a dairy producer? Or do you grow grapes, nuts, fruits, or vegetables? We have it all with American Vineyard, Pacific Nut Producer, California Fresh Fruit, California Dairy, and Vegetable West magazines. Subscribe for free now at malcomedia.com to stay current on the freshest news in your industry. Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with American Vineyard Magazine, reporting to you from Salem, Oregon, and I'm here at Zenith Vineyards, and I'm with Tim Ramey, owner of the vineyard, and his vineyard manager, Pedro, and they're talking about what they're doing right now, training the vines up in the dormant season, getting ready for 2017. Welcome to Zenith Vineyard. Um, we're here uh, pruning uh, block uh, number 1A, which is Pinot Noir, planted in 2006. Uh, this is a pretty typical uh, winter pruning day for us. We get a lot of wind, rain, sometimes a little snow in the winter, uh, but the guys are dressed well for it and uh, we're making our way through. Zenith is a, about an 83 acre property and uh, this is one of our prime blocks. It goes to Adelsheim Vineyard. We're very proud of the wine they make at $105 a bottle. and. Uh, I'd like to introduce uh, my friend and partner Pedro Martinez. Pedro has been here since he was 16 years old, so he has a lot of experience with this vineyard and uh, really manages the crew and, and does a great job for us. Yeah, right now I have this guy so tie this block right here. And if you, if you want, this is planted in 2006. And I think that's the one, uh, the better block in Pill 1. Well, I check it, uh, leave it there. Best cane, the best the to best to best fruit, to have the best fruit in the year, and uh, check if there's no uh, the plants that stay in good condition to leave a good cane. They they pruned this block. Uh, it's a it's a, about a 16 acre block, I guess, and they pruned it last week, and so this week they go back and tie the canes to the, the wire. Cane. We leave an extra cane up. This cane is. Uh, for frost protection. So let's say we got a frost late in the season, like May, uh, and it harms some of these buds. We could always take this cane and bend it down and make it a replacement. And since it's higher off the ground, it's less susceptible to frost. That hardly ever happens, it never happens here. No, not in this block. Not in this block, but no. some of our lower blocks, it lower could block, happen. Yeah. yeah. So what happens if there's no frost and you don't end up needing it? Cut it off. They, so Pedro will say, hey, can we cut those canes off yet? And I'll say, uh, I think it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> around what time of the year is it? May. Yeah, in, around May. Yeah. Because we, we can get a, we got a frost on May 1st uh, in 2013. And luckily we were kind of prepared for it. We, um, we hired a helicopter to come in and fly the vineyard from three in the morning until six in the morning, just stirring up air, you know, moving the higher level, warmer air down, because we had a lot of baby plants that we had planted and we wanted to protect them. Thank you, Tim. Stay current on what's going on in your industry by reading American Vineyard Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, AmericanVineyardMagazine.com.